All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back playing Criminal Case World Edition, case number 10, I Saw Mummy. We are held at gunpoint in the last case, in the last chapter, so let's unlock this. So let's think, Ace, a thief of was in the early stages of modification when we found him right here in this tomb. According to our suspects, a thief was nothing more than a fruit vendor, but I think, still think something's off. Yep, hands up, both of you. Senior Trooper Ace, hand over my spy cam or you're dead. Fine, have it. Asawa, Hawa, you're you're wearing clothing and pointing a gun at us. Lower your weapon, Miss Hawa. That's Agent Hawa, you buffoon. I'm with Mossad, the Israeli Intelligence Service. Oh, nice. All the more reason for us to have a more civilized conversation. Fine, I'll holster my gun, but I won't tell you another word until I get my spy camera back. The spy cam is evidence, Agent Hawa. You might get it back someday. Unless you killed a thief Wahab. I didn't kill a thief Wahab, but I could tell Senior Trooper Ace more about him. Oh yeah. Make sure to like and comment down below, guys. Really appreciate it on these videos. Definitely helps. Let's talk to her. Nice. I love that she's a she's an agent. Well, some belly dancer you turned out to be. You claim to have good intel about the victim. Time to start dishing. Look, the belly dancing was just my cover while I was investigating a FIFA hob for Mossad. Wait, you were spying on our victim? Ace, we were right all along. A FIFA wasn't just a fruit vendor. I came here because I heard Sombra, a Sombra agent had been operating from the hookah bar. All our intelligence reports pointed to a thief. He was good at playing the lovesick buffoon, but I could see through him. And you could too, Senior Trooper Ace. Oh, so she knows what Sombra is. Yeah, wait, you thought he was a Sombra agent? Do you know what Sombra is? Do you know anything about the sword? Oh, you think I'm going to share my intelligence with you? Unless you can steal it from me and read hier hieroglyphics, that's not going to happen. Don't play games with Miss Hoa. I'll verify your identity with the beer on your story and better check out. Hey Ace, I can tell you want to investigate the tomb again. While you do that, I'll call Ingrid and tell her about Asal's big secret. Hey, I'll bite the bullet and I'll talk to her and get her to give us the information. I'll bite the bullet. I'll do it for the team, Jones. I'll do it for the team. Torn photo. It's easy. Explorer's hat. Leather satchel. Perfect. An onk. Rubies and the moon. Where's the moon? It's the sun. Ah, there it is. Well, didn't get a star that time. Well, Ace, I've just talked to Ingrid. It appears Asal really is a Mossad agent. And you're right. What we need right now are clues. That leather satchel you found is locked. Think you can open it? And what's the mess? Looks like a torn photograph. Time to put your puzzle skills to good use. What if uh, Asal is actually like a double agent or something? That'd be crazy. And she actually is working for the sword. I don't know. Seems to be throwing off our scent pretty good, but always a possibility. I still think Omar, but here, is probably the guy. Ooh, well that's actually found the tomb is filled with American dollars. How did that end up here? Nicely spotted, the wad on the top has got a brand band around it and it's faded. Let's get your dust in kit, Ace. Yeah, let's figure it out. Let's put the torn photo back together though. Ah, oh, the fruit vendor, interesting. I see a saw in the background. It's like she's spying on him. Hey, is that photo you restored shows our victim? And there's a saw following him. Guess she really was investigating him. But who took the photo? Yeah, you're right. That blob in the corner could be a finger. Let's get this to Elliot so we can work his magic on it. Yeah, some idiot. <laughs> Ugh, put his finger over it. Silly guy, silly guy. Ah, oh, 
Aha. Favorite band around the wall of money says, Property of the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities. Does that mean Zara Salah, the minister, love that satchel full of government money inside the tomb? It's time to grill her, Ace. Heck yeah, it is. Let's see what she's up to. Ms. Salah, care to explain why stacks of government money we're doing on our crime scene? I, well, I can't believe I forgot it. I was so nervous and see Trooper Ace, I, I can't explain everything. The Ministry knew that Afif Wahab wasn't what he appeared to be. We determined that he set up his stall by the Nile so we could steal from the pyramids. But we needed to catch him red-handed, so I set up a trap. I smoked hookah with Afif at the hookah bar and told him I was a foreign traveler looking to buy an antiquities. I had to eat my way through three plates of pickled turnips before I could convince him. But when I got there, I could tell the antiquity he was trying to sell me was a fake. I can read hieroglyphics, and the ones his artifacts were just random pictures. So he was trying to swindle you, and you killed him? Is that it? Of course not. I'm a government official. I turned him down and went back to the ministry. Huh. Well, you try to trick him. Maybe you're trying to trick us, too. Well, it won't work, Miss Ola. Not with your true brace on the case. That's right. And so I'm going to wait nine hours, guys, and I'm going to grab some stars. I'll see you guys back here. It's been Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. All right, guys, we're back. Let's finish this off. Hey, is this spy stuff you've been sending me is brilliant. A surveillance photo from a real spy? This spy could do with a bit more training. Taking a selfie of his finger? He's either brand new at this game or an idiot. I think I know who took the picture, but tell us just so we're sure. The finger in question belongs to Jean Conneret. That's what I was afraid of. Well, you're right, Ace. We better go grill Jean about his surveillance photo of the victim. Great. Love it. Love his name. Mr. Connery. Senior Trooper Ace found this photo at our crime scene. Why were you spying on a thief Wahab? Wahab wasn't my target. I'm after Asal Hawa. Why do you think I got that job playing Oud at the hookah bar? I mean, I like their pickled turnips, but not enough to take a job there just to eat them. This photo is the proof Asal is dangerous. Almost every time I took a picture of her, she was following that Wahab guy. I managed to steal her reports, but the hieroglyphics only spelled out Curiosity Killed the Cat. They still haven't been able to crack her code. Anyway, Sir Trooper Ace, you should focus on Asal. She's not to be trusted. She may have killed a thief. Yeah, good attempt at misdirection, Mr. Conneray, but we've still got our eye on you, so stay put. Hey Ace, we knew Afif had to have had been more than a simple fruit vendor, and we were right. According to Miss Salah, Afif was a smuggler of antiquities, which would also explain why Redfern, Redfern wanted him to hide some for her. And Asal thinks Afif might have worked for Sombra, even though she refuses to tell us anything about Sombra. So far, one thing almost all the suspects have in common is that hookah bar. You're right. And we know that the victim spent a lot of time there. We should go back. Definitely. Look at that, almost got all the stars. Alright, banana, stained hook. Ugh. Nasty hat, parrot, gunny sack. And dartboard. Ugh. I mean, I would have done better if I wasn't looking at that hook, man. That hook made me... Whoa. Whoa, what is that hook you picked up in the bar, Ace? It looks, it looks ancient and bloody. Yeah, I remember what Angela told us about the killer moving the victim's brains through his nose. Wait, you think they used this hook to do it? Well, and this means you just found another murder weapon, Ace. What's that bright red stuff on it? There's not a second to lose. We need to get a sample of this. And what's with this gunny sack doing here? You're right, we need every lead we can get. If you think there's one in the bag, dig in. Oh. Nasty. Oh, I don't really want to look at this. This is so disgusting. I guess it looks like lipstick.
Alright, well, we've got to sample the redstone from the murder weapon, Ace. Let's rush it to Lars. I'm curious what that thing is, man. Alright, what's 15. What's in the gunny sack that's going to take us 15 hours? Interesting. What's. Nice. Not sure what all those artifacts are real, but this box is t too dusty not to be. I don't see an opening or a lock, do you? Alright, it's been a time to stand here playing with a puzzle box. DuPont can crack its secrets. Oh, wow, we're gonna give it to him. Well, do not read from the book, as the mummy taught us. There you go, 15 hours, man. Do do your best, DuPont. And I'll see you guys later. It's been Pitching Ace 88. Or what? Alright, folks, Pitching Ace 88, and we are back. Let's get on with this. Now, I apologize right now if you end up hearing a little bit of uh, Baby Ace crying in the background, but the show must go on. Hey, Ace, whoever used this hook you found in the hookah bar had better be the queen of denial. Get it? Denial? The Nile? Ugh, bro, you know I love your jokes, but we need answers. Well, the sample you brought me was lipstick. Not just any lipstick, either. It contains red ochre, a pigment prized by ancient Egyptians for their cosmetics. Lipstick? What did the killer kiss the murder weapon for good luck? Gross. At least that means we know we're lo looking for someone wearing lipstick. Ace, you're right. They better hope they can kiss their way out of jail. I wonder if it's the curator. Kind of always thought maybe it would, it would be the curator. Just because we haven't really talked to her that much, and she seems very mysterious. Well, it took some doing, Ace, and I'm ashamed to say I need help from Lars. We opened the box you found at the hookah bar. You are never going to believe what we found inside. Brains. Angela confirmed it. This brain matter belonged to the victim. Ugh. Thank you for your help, Lars. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to provide Ace with some evidence. The killer put the victim's brains inside this box because the box was an organ vessel, as used in the ancient process of mummification. It stands to reason that the killer had the key to the box. See this indentation in the stone? Shaped like a winged scarab beetle? That's the lock. Killer will want to keep the key to the box in them at all times. They're likely to be wearing it, probably as a brooch shaped like the scarab beetle. So the killer wears a scarab beetle brooch. Ace, I think it's high time to put the killer in their own little box. Hey, Ace, looks like we have all the all we need to arrest the thief's killer. It's time to get some answers. <clears throat> oh no, I hope it's not. I hope it's not the broad. I hope it's not her. It probably is. Uh. No, sweet, because she's not wearing a scarab. Search her whole body, she's not wearing a scarab. She's wearing a scarab. Uh -huh, I, I thought it was a curator. Yeah. Right when I heard the lipstick, I was like, you know what, I bet you it's the curator. <coughs> Zara Salah, you're under the arrest for the murder of a thief Wahab. What? I wanted to catch the thief red-handed, not kill him. Oh, come on. You tracked the victim like a predator and lured him with a hookah pipe at the hookah bar. Like a predator? You make me sound like I'm some kind of monster. Kissing the murder weapon before pulling the victim's brains out with it sounds monstrous enough, doesn't it, Senior Trooper Ace? Oh, please. You're making me sick. Not as sick as seeing the victim's brains in a box made us. A box that you opened with the scarab brooch that you're wearing. The game's up, Salah. I I was foolish to think that I could escape you, Senior Trooper Ace. Yes, I killed a thief, Wahab, but I had to. Because you thought he was stealing from the tombs? No, because I exposed myself as a thief to him. Oh, what? You're the Antiquities Thief? But your job is to keep the tombs safe. Oh, why don't you try and live on a government salary, Senior Trooper Ace? Nobody really knows what it's in those tombs. Nobody messes with the artifacts I smuggle. Holy cow, I can't believe it. You killed a thief because he was a competitor? Not exactly. When I met him in the tomb, I offered him a large amount of money to pack up and leave, but he refused. He clung to his fruit vendor story, said I couldn't force him to leave his stall. The man was mad. When I realized he wouldn't take the money, I panicked. I couldn't risk him realizing who I was and exposing me as a thief. So you mummified him? I thought nobody would notice one more mummy in a tomb filled with them, but I took the hook and the brains because people would have noticed how fresh the body was. But you didn't count on Senior Trooper Ace being in town, did you? That one mistake is going to put you away for a long time. You're under arrest. Zara Salah, you stand mur 
before this court for the murder of a fiefal hob by mummification, a new twist on an old technique. From what I understand, you abused your powers as the Minister of Antiquities to smuggle precious artifacts out of the tombs as well. My, my, I really do enjoy locking up corrupt government officials. Really brightens my day. Zara Salah, for the attempted mummification and successful murder of a fiefal hob and the theft of precious artifacts, this court sentences you to 50 years in prison. I agree, it should be a huge sentence. You can't send me to prison, I'm a government minister. Yeah, right. I'm glad that Zara Salah is behind bars, eh? So whoever a thief was, he was not the man Salah had been after. But he might have been the somber agent Asal was after. Hey Ace, what if a thief was Chief Ripley's killer, the sword? You're right, we need answers and we're not gonna get them just by sitting around and wondering. Let's get to the bottom of this. Alright guys, so definitely, definitely stay tuned because we only have two more cases after this before this place gets wrapped up, so it's about to get crazy. I'll see you guys in the next chapter. It's been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.